Hey, it's Tracy from Kiss, and I'm here with another video. Um, I wanted to come and basically do a hair update. I cut my waist length hair to basically bra strap length. Like, I'll show you a picture, but I am now passing bra strap length. So, I did a major cut. I want to say I cut anywhere from five to six inches. Now, as you can see, this is my new cut. Now, I'm getting questions already on why I cut my hair. So, I will briefly explain. And, you know, when you're on a hair journey, that's an explanation you have to give every time you cut your bangs or change your hair color. And people want to know what made you make that decision and, and how do you feel about it now. Now, a lot of you guys know I have been basically changing the way I relax my hair for the last... A little over a year and I usually relax my hair bone straight and that's what I did for years and then in the middle of my hair journey I said you know what I think I want to start relaxing my hair but leaving texture to it and that way I will be able to have like both worlds I have the easy hair to straighten and to manage and then I also have to be able to rock certain um, washing goals and stuff like that but still keeping my relaxer a lot of hair boards have given the name tech slacks to the term. I don't like to use it a lot because everybody that are that is on YouTube are not on hair boards and just the word tech slaxing opens up a range of questions. Now, tech slaxing is what I just said. Not relaxing my hair bone straight. And I'm sorry for the ones that have to keep hearing this over and over again, but I have to say it or I'm, it's just going to flood me. Uh, the questions are going to flood me. So that's what it is. It does not mean you have a texturizer. That's why it's the word text lacks because it's like you have the the best worlds of a texturizer and a text and a relaxer all in one. But it's actually you just relaxing your hair and not leaving it on as long or not letting it process fully. Does that cause breakage? Does it look like it causes breakage? Why I cut my hair? I cut my hair because this has been a transition. You have your bone straight hair, then you have your hair that you are no longer relaxing as long. So I had curly hair and then I had straight hair. And I've been gradually throughout the year doing big cuts, maybe two, three, four. I think one time I did five inches off the hair. But still, I wanted to keep my length. I was not going to cut my hair off. That's what I wasn't going to do this point you guys I think I have all of the straight ends off I'm not sure I won't know until I wash my hair or, or co-wash or something like that now what was I gonna say I'm gonna show you a picture because I have been bra strap length before I didn't start my hair journey off with long hair I'm gonna find an old picture and I'm gonna do a side by side of the new cut and when I was bra strap length before and it just shows how far my hair has progressed in this whole thing of what we call a hair journey. I was bra strap length before I had that V cut where this, this, the layers up here, you know, I had the layers at the V cut and now I have this perfectly straight thick end hair that is just goes straight across and I love it. before I cut it being at waist length straight across was a different experience because it just feels longer I'm so excited you guys because look at it I don't know how much you can tell in the video but I had those heavy straight ends on my hair so just cutting it added so much thickness to my hair like I am in love with my hair right now loving my hair right now do you miss your hair as of right now no and I'm gonna tell you why it's it's straightened it's flat and it's long like when my husband saw it first thing he said was you cut it but it's still long you know it's it's long so I'm not missing it now I can't say I'm gonna feel the same way after I wash it because 
my hair is not relaxed bone straight I do have shrinkage so that might be when I may start missing my hair but I'm actually gonna go from this cut and go on to protective styling for probably till my birthday or something like that because my next birthday is my next birthday my birthday is in March so I'm probably I might do that um, to help me retain all my length excited about having these nice blunt cut ends that are just thick from the roots to the tips and my hair is just so thick like it reminds me of the the hair that start that I started off my journey with that real thick thick hair and now something else that I did I'm not gonna go too much into detail because it's boring and I'm not gonna bore people out and some people just don't care but as you guys know when I started my hair journey I used no lie relaxers I actually use kids relaxers and the reason why I did that was because I have a sensitive scalp remember my scalp is the whole reason why I started my hair journey because it was dry and it was itchy and it was all that when I started my hair journey 2008 I used no lie relaxers and the you know I switched over I want to say a year and a half two years into my journey maybe about two years and switched over to the lie relaxers now there's pros and cons to each one and yes there is a difference I'm not gonna explain it here because it's boring what I'm going to do is on my blog and I'm gonna put the link below I will make sure I post the difference the pros and the cons to each one now those of you that know are gonna be like well what about dryness I never really experienced dryness with the no lie relaxers because I knew to remove the mineral deposits that's left on the hair and what I would do is just use a shelleting shampoo here of the deposits that's left on the hair from the no lie relaxers and the reason why I switched again was because of my scalp I just got irritated about basing the scalp I got irritated about the burning effect I just didn't want to deal with it the lie relaxer that I used was the ores relaxer and so I stayed with ores because I was getting excellent results and the no, their no lie relaxer did not let me down either like immediately when I start washing the um, relaxer on my hair I could just feel how soft and how silky my hair felt and that was just ama amazing to feel from a no lie relaxer but anyways it is what I used I will do not go sad on me I already have people sing, sending me sad faces and and oh my goodness because I posted all this on Instagram first now don't and the reason why I say this is because this is exciting you guys I went it was so much fun when we were on our hair journey together I mean I posted more I took more pictures I was more tough on my hair journey so now we have an opportunity to do this together so now you can go back and follow my blog and get in there tight with my hair journey and grow out with me I think the next challenge I'm gonna do I'm gonna start two challenges and that's gonna be middle back length for 2013 which I don't know it'll probably take me about four or five months to get to middle back length I think something like that and protective hair challenge and I'm gonna do that actually I'm thinking about doing just a straight-up boot camp we haven't done a kids boot camp in a while so definitely look for that um, God bless all of you